Hi, it's Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer, and this is Decoding Multisyllabic Words, episode 49. I've got four words I want to take a look at. Let's get started. I want to show you these words. I want you to read them out loud. What's this? How about this? And this. Whoa, that's a big word. Last word. Okay, question, were any of those tricky to read? If so, I want you to keep watching. I'm gonna show you some great decoding strategies you can use when you're stuck on an unfamiliar word when you're decoding independently. But first, a reminder of the tortoise and the hare and the moral slow and steady wins the race, which is great advice when you're stuck on a big unfamiliar word like this one. You can think of these words as races and if you read like the hare, you might wanna get finished first and you'll zip through a big word like this. That's where mistakes can happen. But if you read like the tortoise, take it slow and steady. That patience is definitely going to help improve your reading. Keep that in mind. Let's practice. All right, this first word here. I know it starts with deaf. I know it ends with Lee. It's the middle that's confusing, probably because of this vowel pair, I, A. What does that do? Let's focus on what we know. Ant. Phi. Phi. Ant. Now it's looking like giant, which is a tricky word probably ever since you've been reading stories back in kindergarten, first grade, right, giant? So defiant, yeah, this is defiantly. And defiantly comes from the root defiant. And that goes back to French. It's kind of a French thing going on there. And the root of that is defy. That is a verb to defy. Got that Y at the end. We're gonna drop that Y and add an I, then add A and T to get the adjective defiant, then add an L-Y suffix to get the adverb defiantly. All right, the next word starts with def, ends with lee. It's the middle we have to pay attention to, I would say. So let's pay attention to what we know, thin, night, def, thin, night. This is definitely, this is definitely, definitely. Root word is definite. Actually, the root of that is finite. Finite is a word that goes back to Latin as well. And in Latin, that had to do with limited in space or a boundary. And it's the same root as finish. All right, think of a finish line as a boundary. So finite, add a DE to the beginning as a, as a prefix. So we've got definite. Now it's tricky because it, doesn't, it looks like definite, but you don't, that silent E doesn't make that, that I there long. It's a short I, definite. So that's something to think about when you spell definite, you might leave that E off. Anyway, put L-Y as a suffix at the end and we have the adverb definitely, not nightly, but there is an E there. All right, this word's really, well, it's pretty scary, <laughs> pretty big word. So let's focus on what we know, let's break it apart. There's par at the beginning, that is an R controlled sound, R, not to be confused with pr, pr, pr right? That doesn't have a vowel sound up top there. Pr now it has a vowel sound, pra. Down below is par. There's part, tick. Tickle looks like tickle in the middle. lar li. Particularly is this word. And it comes from the root particulier, an old French word we have in English now. See that er at the end? The thing about this word is the u actually says you. And that's something you need to know about the letter U. Sometimes you actually say U. And anytime that happens, it's probably because of a French root or French origin. So particular became the English word particular. And the U sound was kept in English, particular. Now you add an L-Y at the end, you have the adverb particularly. Really tricky word. Not to be confused with this. In the beginning, there's prac, tick. Call, looks like call, practically, yeah, practically. And that comes from the root practical, also has a Latin root, Latin origin. We have it in English, put an L-Y at the end of practical and you've got the adverb practically. All right, that's it for today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook for more helpful decoding videos like this one. On my Facebook page, my photos, there's a great album full of reading challenges I've written to help you practice decoding those big words and to awesomeize your fluency. 
and to get to YouTube or Facebook. If you haven't been yet, just search the Fluency Awesomizer. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Come back and see me soon. Bye.